culture uh, disability rights sorry uh, yeah our focus areas include constitutional culture governance reform disability rights gender and sexuality and discrimination and intersectionality as a part of our constitutional culture work we initiated conquest 5 years ago in 2016 in the span of 5 years conquest has emerged as the most sought out quiz on the indian constitution history and politics now the motivation behind conquest is to bring to light the importance of engaging with the constitution of india not only as a legal document but as a political one the values and lessons of which should permeate all our individual personal spaces the constitution should not be restricted within the uh, boundaries of courts law schools or law firms or lawyers but it must transcend these boundaries and become a part of the common person's vocabulary and life so we try to get students from across disciplines to engage with conquest and give them an opportunity to engage with india's rich constitutional heritage coming back to the sears edition in light of covid pandemic our otherwise physically conducted events have gone completely online we concluded all the four preliminary regional rounds and three of the four knockout rounds so six teams have already claimed their spots in the grand finale today we we'll begin the fourth of the uh, fourth uh, knockout rounds where all the teams will compete for the remaining two spots uh, in the grand finale so without taking more time i will now hand over the floor to ragav uh, from no- all that knowledge solutions thank you pratika a uh, very warm welcome to each and every one of you um uh, the finalists uh, on the zoom call and uh, all the audience members logging in uh, from the youtube channel of center for law and policy research uh, for conquest uh, 2020 the knockout round 4 um we had uh, a preliminary round previously with about 600 plus students from across the country participate uh, in conquest and after that the top 32 teams battled in doubt uh, in the knockout rounds so we finished three knockout rounds as kritika mentioned and we have the top 6 finalists the last of the knockout rounds is today where top 2 teams from today's knockout room uh, knockout round get to the grand finale uh, so uh, it's it's almost uh, you know a fifth edition of the quiz uh we are um uh, very happy to uh collaborate along with center for law and policy research uh on this unique experiment to really bring the constitution closer to college students through interesting stories questions and uh, uh an analyzing of the heritage that went into making our constitution uh so without no further ado uh let me share my screen and start the knockout round 4 of conquest 2020 today um right so i hope all of you are in a position to see the screen conquest 2020 is an initiative for, by the center for law and policy research uh, i would like to take a moment here and kind of tell you with covid striking us uh you know for the last four editions conquest has been an offline event running in four corners of the country where we do regionals in four different um uh zones of india and then we do a grand finale so this year uh you know center for law and policy research truly has taken it completely digital and uh, uh hopefully uh, you know we've been able to pull off the quiz well uh, so center for law and policy research for bringing this initiative year on year uh, it is uh, presented by the constitution of india.org website uh and i would urge all of you to go check out the website it's a great resource uh for uh, constitutional debates um articles analysis a uh, variety of blogs are uh, really looking into uh, different issues and uh, you know rights policies interests of people that went into making our um you know constitution uh, almost a uh, diverse interests that were accommodated in the constitution uh we would urge you to go and check out this wonderful resource and uh, uh you know many of our questions are also inspired by the articles in the constitution of india website so that's a small tip uh, for all of you for those of you uh, you know reading up on the constitution looking for interesting resources right and uh, uh, as year on year it is supported by the frederick norman foundation a huge thank you for the foundation uh, for taking up such an initiative 
and Mr. Arvind Dattar, Senior Advocate of the Supreme Court of India, for sponsoring the prizes of Conquest uh, for uh, many years now. And our digital partner is The Print. Uh, the finals grand finale will be broadcasted on the print digital channels as well. So, uh, and our uh, and the knowledge partner is uh, Walnut Knowledge Solutions, uh, the company that I represent, and we are very happy to be part of it. We are a young organization working with school children primarily. Uh, the primary aim is to really spark curiosity among children, and uh, we are very happy to uh, today spark curiosity of college students on a very important issue like our constitution. Right. So, with that, what's at stake for the quiz today? Uh, for the grand finale, at least is 30,000 rupees is the winners. Uh, uh, the grand of uh, the Conquest 2020 winners go home with 30,000 rupees. Second prize winners with 20,000. Third prize winners with uh, 15,000 rupees. And today's knockout round, top two teams will uh, join the other six teams already selected to the grand finale. Right. So uh, the more important thing for the teams to understand is to strategize and be in the top two uh, for today's quiz. Right. So uh, that's uh, what's at stake and um, the order of the day. Uh, the structure of the quiz will be as follows. We'll have. Right. So before that, let me introduce the finalists uh, of uh, today's uh, knockout round. So uh, it's my honor and privilege to announce the finalists, the first team from the North Zone joining us is uh, from the East Zone, my bad, is National Institute of Technology, Jamshedpur. We have Captain Amit, Garima, and Akash. Uh, so if we have uh, the team from National Institute of Technology, Jamshedpur, uh, introduce themselves to the audience, that will be great. Uh, Amit, Garima, and Akash, if you guys can uh, unmute and kind of introduce yourself. Good evening to each one of you. This is Amit representing an IT Jamshedpur from the East Zone. And my other teammates are Garima and Akash. And we are really thankful to CLPR for conducting this quiz this year too. Since last year, we missed out on tiebreaker in, from going to, into the finals. And this being our final year, we were really looking forward to the quiz and we are glad that it's happening. Thank you. Best of luck for this year. Uh, great to see a lot of teams who have been part of the last year's conquest, probably missed by a whisker, making it back to the uh, you know knockout rounds this year. So very happy to have you guys from National Institute of Technology, Jamshedpur. Garima and Akash, if you guys can introduce yourself. Yeah, hi, I'm Akash. Uh, I'm a fourth year student. And uh, Amit pretty much said everything. So yeah, great to be here. Cool. Uh, Garima? Are we in a position to get Karima online? Okay. Um, yes, Garima, go on. You've been unmuted. You can speak. Hello. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Garima Saraswad, third year student. Um, last year, as I mixer told, we just missed the written rounds. So this year, we are glad to be here in the knockouts. So an engineering college making it to a constitutional quiz is always special. Wishing you guys the very best from ESO, National Institute of Technology, Jamshedpur. Team two is National Law University, Odisha. We have Captain Prajwal, Aditi, and Sideshwar. Uh, folks from National Law University, Odisha, uh, the floor is yours to introduce yourself. Yeah, uh, hi. Uh... I'm Prajwal from National University of Odisha. I'm a second year law student. And um, I guess I will take any opportunity to quiz in the lockdown. So, yeah. Aditi and Sideshwa. Hi, I'm Aditi. I'm a fourth year student at National Law University of Odisha. And I'm just pretty excited to be here. This is my first time at Conquest. Super. Sideshwa. Uh, hello, everyone. And... Uh, I feel that this is NLU's first time uh, that we are representing in this quiz. And I hope that uh, yesterday there was one, another team from NLU uh, which could not go to the finals. So we are hoping that we kind of go through the finals and make our name there. Yeah, so that will be pretty much of it. Yeah. So NLU Odisha team, all the very best. 
Uh, they're saying they're the first time they've made it to the Conquest uh, uh, quiz. So happy to have you all and hope you guys have a good stint. Uh, moving on to team three uh, from the North Zone is Sri Venkateshwara College, University of Delhi. We have Captain Ankit, Aparna, and Araba. Looks like all the A's there in their names. So go on, introduce yourself. Uh, hi, y'all. My name is Ankit Rathi. I'm a second year student at Sri Venkateshwara College studying political science. Uh, that ship has sailed though. Uh, lovely to be here. Lovely to qualify with these amazing quizzes. I haven't really done a lot of quizzes in lockdown, but really looking forward to this one. So, thank you. Got it, Ankit. Uh, Aparna and Araba, if you guys can introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Aparna. Uh, I'm from Life Sciences. This is my second time in conquest. Very good. Uh, hi guys, I'm Araba Kong. I'm a second year economic student at Sri Lankateshwara College and uh, one of our ex-presidents got into the national finals uh, around a couple of years back. So it's kind of a big deal around the college and in the Delhi University Cuisine Circuit. So I hope that uh, we can make a mark today. So, uh, yeah, uh, Conquest has set a thing and Sri Lankateshwara College has been a common uh, a team which has been qualifying for the northern rounds for sure. That we noticed. So all the best to so a, a variety of students from political science to economics, social science, all the very best from North Zone, Sri Venkateshwara College, University of Delhi. To team four, we have Dr. Ram Manohar Lohia, National Law University, Lucknow, RMNLU, Captain Yeso Verman, Vatsal, and Asta, uh, Asta, if you guys can introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Yasho Verman. I'm a student, I'm a third year student from National Law University. Lucknow, and I'm a first time quizzer, and so are my teammates. Over to you, Vatsal and Asta. Vatsal and. Uh... Hi. Hello, I'm Vatsal. I'm a third year student of law from NLU Lucknow, um, and just happy to be here, and happy to be here with my friends in the lockdown, since uh, there's, there's, a, there's not a lot of physical interaction that we can do right now, so it's good to. Uh, partake in some activity with friends, finally. Wonderful. Asta? Hi, everyone. I'm Asta. I'm a third-year law student at RMNLU. So as uh, my teammate told that this is the first time we took the quiz, I'm happy to be here and take on and hopefully qualify it. All the very best, all the way from Lucknow, RMNLU. We move on to Team 5, to the West Zone, Government Law College, Mumbai, Captain Aditya, Kavita, and Shwab. Uh, if you guys can introduce yourself. Okay, hi everyone, good afternoon. Um, my name is Kavita Mohanty and I'm a final year law student. Um, honest to God, this is the first time I'm doing a quiz, but I have got excellent teammates, so I'm looking forward for this. And uh, good luck to everyone, let's have some fun. Thank you. Uh, hi. hi, my name is Aditya Bharadwaj and I'm a fourth-year student of law at Government Law College, Mumbai. I'm in the five-year law course and I'm uh, and all the best to uh, all other uh, from... We heard you there, we heard you there. <laughs> so uh, he's meant all the best to all of the teams here. Uh, and Schwab, if you can introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Shweb Chakravarti. I'm in my final year of law school. Uh, I've been wanting to participate for past four years, but I haven't had a chance. So I made sure my friends from within the college and outside the college participate. So uh, really happy to be here. I didn't think I'd participate in an online quiz, but really love the organization that CSPR did for the prelims. And uh, yeah, best of luck to everyone. Hope that this is fun. Thank you for that and wishing you guys the best of luck. Um, so, I mean, one of the things that we always noticed is geographically, when we conduct the offline rounds, travel becomes a problem for colleges which are a little away from where we are conducting the quiz. But really, the online quizzes make sure that, uh, you know, colleges from across have a fair shot at, uh, you know, giving this quiz, except for internet connections being uh, stable and stuff. But team six, we have from the Western Zone, NMIMS, Kirit P. Mehta, uh, School of Law, Mumbai, Captain Dashil, Smith, and Pratiti, if you guys can introduce yourself. Uh, hello, good evening, everyone. My name is Darshil Mashru, and uh, this is my second time at Conquest, and I'm really happy to be here and 
I hope to call a friend. Wishing everybody all the best. Cheers. Right. Uh, yes. So hi everyone. I am uh, Sneet from uh, NMIMS, and uh, this is our second year at the quiz. Last year we came third at the regional round, and it was a big heartbreak for us, and we would like to rectify it this year. Okay. Hi everybody. I am Pratiti. I'm I'm a fifth year law student, and uh, this is my first time at Conquest. But my team members again, they've been experienced. I'm really happy. You'll be here. Thank you, uh, Team NMIMS School of Law, uh, Kirit P. Mehta School of Law. And I think that if, if it's okay, I'll call you guys NMIMS School of Law. Is that fine? Sure. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. So moving on from West Zone to Team 7 for today's knockout round, the School of Law, Christ University. We have Captain Rajat, ICD, and uh, Vishnu. Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Razad Kalal here. I'm currently a third year student at School of Law, Christ City, and I would like to thank CL for for arranging this amazing quiz. And we hope uh, we have a very good quiz today. Thank you. Got it. And Aishri and uh, Vishnu. Good evening. Uh, my name is Aishri, and I'm a third year law student at uh, SLCU. Um, th we thank uh, CLPR for giving us this opportunity today. And Vishnu? Uh, yes. Good evening. My name is Vishnu from uh, SLCU, Torio. Uh, my friend and I participated in the 2018 quiz, but we unfortunately couldn't make it just by a small margin. So we hope to do it this year. And we thank CLPR for hosting this quiz. Right. So uh, that School of Law, Christ University from Bangalore to Team 8 from IIT Madras, uh, we have Captain Deepayan, uh, Akyat, and uh, Shashwati. I hope I've gotten all their names right. Uh, if you guys can introduce yourself. Yeah, so good evening, everyone. I am Akyat, a second year student from IIT Madras. It is my first year in, at Conquest, and it really, I really feel excited to be here. Best of luck to all the teams. Ryan and Shashwati. Yeah, hi uh, everyone. This is Dipan. Uh, I am a CSC student in IIT Madras, and it's I think it is a very nice initiative by CLPR and a Constitution Quiz. And this is our first uh, attempt in conquest, and this is really one of the quizzes in our bucket list to win before we leave campus. All the best to everyone. Right. And. Uh, yeah, I'm Shashwati. Uh, I'm a second year student at IIT Madras too. Uh, this is my first time and it uh, seems quite intimidating listening to the introductions of other teams and uh, their qualifications. But uh, we're sure to give our best. Uh, hoping to, looking forward for the quiz. Yeah, I hope the question will intimidate you. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, so all the best for uh, IIT Madras. So I typically remember in one of the editions of the quiz, IIT Madras lost out on a tiebreaker uh, in one of the South Zone uh, regional finals that I remember. Uh, and it was the last question of the quiz that made that difference. Uh, wishing you guys all the best. And that's a roundup for our knockout round uh, four uh, of our Conquest 2020. So with that, we will step into the quiz. Uh, and today's quiz, uh, as it has been in all the knockout rounds, we'll have three rounds. We start with the potpourri round, which is a mixed bag of questions taken from a variety of topics leading to constitution, history, politics, and so on. And round two is a listed round, and we'll explain the rules of listed as we go along. And the last one is a Kahoot round, uh, which will uh, be played on the Kahoot platform. So this is how the structure of the quiz is uh, today. And uh, we will step into the first round of our knockout round four, which is the potpourri. Here it comes. So round one, potpourri, and the rules are as follows. We have eight questions in this quiz. Each team gets one direct question. And when the question is being read out, you get 30 seconds. Uh, other teams get 30 seconds to chat in their answers and pounce on the answers. Uh, and if they get it right, they get 1,000 points. And then the question goes direct to the team that it was intended to, right? So that's how the uh, format of this quiz would be so that everyone gets eight questions uh, di on direct and also the others uh, who will get the 30 seconds before 
uh, the, uh, the team which is intended to answer it uh, answers it, all right? So all of you uh, get ready. Uh, the first question will be for National um, Institute of Technology, Jamshedpur, Captain Amit, be ready. And just before I can um, you know, confirm, IIT Madras, uh, just wanted to confirm if the captain is uh, Akya. I am the captain. I mean, Deepan didn't have a proper internet connection, so Perfect. like we decided to change it. Perfect. That's that's absolutely fine. Just kind of clarifying that before we yes. start out. Perfect. So let's begin. The first question is for National Institute of Te uh, Technology, Jamshedpur, as I mentioned. Um, and uh, Amit, you can wait for the 30 seconds before the other teams can take a crack and then give your answer. First question to you and all the rest, be ready as you give an attempt at this question. Here comes the first question. Right. In an early 1970s county cricket match in Sussex, the scoreboard manager faced a unique problem because of an announcement that had come in from India. He had to request one of the players how he would like to have his name put up on the scoreboard because the one originally listed would no longer stand. What announcement involving a concept defined under Article 291 of the Constitution did the scorer receive, right? So there was an interruption in the match and something had to be done. So they had a clarification, right? So what are we talking about? I need some keywords specifically. So let me start the timer as the others key in their answers, right? So you need to send in your answers to me, Quizmaster Raghav. 1970s county cricket match in Sussex. This happened. Right? An announcement led to an interruption and then a clarification. So you just need to tell me what was this about? As the team from NIT Jamshedpur think through the question. Right? I've gotten all the answers and timer. Uh, knocks off. So yes, uh, NID Jamshedpur Amit, Captain, go on. What's your answer? So I think it is the scrapping of the privy purses. The right. under Article Two Ninety One, the announcement must be regarding the. So the titles like Nawabs and all they were like they were they can't they could not be used then thereafter. Is this? Yeah. Uh, you want to take a guess at which cricket player was involved in this uh, when uh, his name had to be clarified? I think maybe Nawab Ali Khan Patodi, Saif Ali Khan's father. Absolutely. Nawab Mansoor Ali Khan Patodi was the one in question here. And he's got it right. This is during the 1970s when the privy purses was abolished. And uh, of course, when that was abolished, uh, the commitment uh, by the Indian government to all the princely states in relation to uh, providing them with certain, um, you know, uh, uh, fees, concessions, uh, all of that, and including the titles uh, that had to be abolished. So therefore, Nawab had to be removed or not was something that they wanted to clarify. A uh, good answer there from NIT Jamshedpur. Very well done. So and let's see the answers. So teams, again, let me repeat this. Uh, you know, proctors are looking out. So please ensure that apart from the captains, I would like all of your hands uh, to be shown in the screen, right? Like then I would have to call out each of your names and so on. So yeah, just let's just play it fair. I, I mean, I know that you may have, uh, just be, uh, you know, you might just not remember to do it, but just please ensure that you kind of be mindful and keep your hands, uh, you know, shown in the, uh, uh, video screen, right? And you'll never be in a position to kind of say whether you were Googling or not, etc. right? Okay, so the teams which got it right were, uh, let me start with the first team which cracked the answer right. So we have um, NLU Odisha. Uh, we had um, School of Law Christ University. Uh, we have Sri Venkateshwara College. Um, we have NMIMS and GLC, uh, which get the answer right, along with NIT Jamshedpur. 
right? I hope this uh, team uh, scoring, you guys have gotten everybody uh, on track. So I'll repeat it one more time, Raghav. Yeah, let me repeat that. We have GLC, NMIM School of Law, Sri Venkateshwara College, School of Law, Christ University, and NLU Odisha, which have cracked the answer, right? Along with NIT Jamshedpur. What? Okay, wonderful. So, yeah, we are through with the scores and I hope all this, that the screen is visible clearly for all the team members. I believe one of the, this one was if you open the chat, they are not in a position to see the screen, but I hope that's not the case. Right, okay, so good answering and uh, this is abolishment of the privy purse and this was Mansoor Ali Khan Patodi. The next question coming up on the screen, get ready all of you. And the question is to NLU Odisha and Captain Prajwal and team get ready. Um, but you don't have to answer right now. So you can absorb the question while the others take a crack at it in the first 30 seconds. So here goes your second question on your screen. So Ulgulan Foundation has brought forward the movement um, of Har Gar Se Patar, Har Gar Se Sahyog. In 2016, they announced the statue of Ulgulan, a proposed 150 feet tall monument set to be built on the Ranchi Jamshedpur National Highway near Gundu. Who will be the subject of the statue, the only one from his community to have his portrait in the Lok Sabha? right? The only one uh, from his community to have a portrait in the Lok Sabha. So let me start the timer as we get the teens to answer it. So Ulgulan Foundation has brought this movement uh, to kind of the statue of Ulgulan. And who are we talking about is the question. Uh, only one person from this community um, whose portrait is in the Lok Sabha. Last three seconds to go. And time's up. And let's request NLU Odisha, Prajwal Captain to give out the answer. Prajwal, can we have your answer please? Yeah, uh, yeah. so we think this is Birsa Munda. Can you say Birza Munda and uh, what made you thinking of Birza Munda? I mean, I, I roughly know the story of Manji the Mountain Man is based on that where he actually built a road and, you know, sort of he chiseled away at the mountain or something like that. So, a patar patar and all, I, I somehow got to Birza Munda. Right. So, uh, one of the most famous leaders of uh, the tribal community there uh, and almost, the, uh, so to say, uh, you know, the founder of the movement to uh, you know, create Jharkhand. This is uh, Birsa Munda, and that's the right answer we were looking for. Uh, and uh, uh, let me look at the chats uh, of those who have gotten it right as well. So uh, here in the chat window, we have NMIMS School of Law, which has cracked it, NLU, uh, RMNLU Lucknow, which has also clacked uh, cracked it. Some of you have gotten your spellings wrong, but I'm, I'm quite lenient here, as long as I see the answer clearly. Um, so RMNLU Lucknow has gotten it right. Uh, we have IIT Madras, NIT Jamshedpur, Sri Venkateshwara College, GLC Mumbai, cracking it as well. So we have GLC, Sri Venkateshwara College, NIT Jamshedpur, IIT Madras, RMNLU I've already mentioned, and um, NMIMS School of Law to have gotten this, along with NLU Odisha cracking this answer right. So uh, do we have the scores? Got the scores, perfect. Okay, so we are through with the scores and let's move to the next question coming up on the screen. And this is to Sri Venkateshwara College, uh, University of Delhi, Ankit and team, get ready all of you. Here comes the question. 
This 2020 book by Tripur Daman Singh is a non-fiction account of an event that was supposedly motivated by real politics to subvert certain fundamental guarantees made just a few months prior. Which post-independence event is this is the subject of this book? It says 16 day, uh, 16 stormy days, the story of something. What is it the story of? So as we start the timer, right? The question is directed to Sri Venkateshwar College. You guys can wait for the 30 seconds to go, and all the other team members can take a crack at the question. Post-independence event is what I'm looking for. I need some keywords for clarity. Okay, time's up. And I've got about seven of you who tried to take a track of the answer. And uh, it's now direct to Sri Venkateshwara College. Ankit, go on. What's your answer? Okay, so we'll go with accession of Hyderabad, uh, Operation uh, Polo. So accession of Hyderabad. So of uh, Hyderabad, Operation Polo is what um, Ankit from Sri Venkateshwara College uh, say. Uh, let me use the chat to kind of look at who amongst the teams have tried to got, get this right. Um, okay, some of you have cracked it uh, in no particular order. Can I request um, um, Ak Akyat of IIT Madras to give out this answer, please? Yeah, so this is basically the first amendment which was made in the constitution, like the first amendment of the constitution and you, uh, do you know what is the, uh, what it related to and things like that? I exactly don't remember, but my teammate was reading this a couple of days. Yeah, before, so, so I can answer that. So basically uh, there was a student in uh, Madras, like she wanted to do an MBBS and uh, because of some quota system of that, she was not getting the chance and there was another uh, male student also. So, uh, Right. I don't exactly remember the names no right now. By an ad, uh, 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 I, I hope I Akyat uh, from IIT Madras. This is the first amendment to the constitution, which of course, among other things, also specifically related with giving of reservation rights to the uh, scheduled caste, scheduled tribes, and so on, right? And it also dealt with uh, many portions of freedom of speech and so on. So there were multiple um, elements that were brought out but specifically uh, was about that. So uh, those of you who cracked that answer, very well done. So we have with us uh, RMNLU Lucknow, which uh, cracked the answer along with IIT Madras, uh, GLC Mumbai. Right, so GLC Mumbai, IIT Madras, um, and RMNLU Lucknow. And uh, we have NIT, are uh, Jamshedpur also cracking, right? So let me repeat that, NIT Jamshedpur, RMNLU Lucknow, and IIT Madras, GLC Mumbai, who cracked the answer right. Yeah, I hope the scoring has been recorded. Okay, so moving on to, yeah, this um, unfortunately wasn't the Operation Polo, uh, but the First Amendment to the Constitution of India, and that really caused a little bit of, um, you know, stormy days for uh, Jawaharlal Nehru and the others in the parliament, right? So moving on to the next uh, question uh, on the screen, all of you get ready, uh, coming up on the screen now, and this is a direct to RMNLU, uh, Esho uh, uh, Varman, uh, I hope, yeah, Esho Varman, uh, so your direct uh, will be coming up on the screen and all of the rest, uh, just focus on the question so that you can chat in your answers quickly. Here it comes. As per a study published in geophysical research letters, a group of researchers used weather data to simulate the amount of moisture present in the soil across various Indian regions. During uh, these six 
time periods, right? Like 1973 to 1974, 1876 to 1877, 1896 to 97, 1899 uh, and 1943. Now, they concluded that out of all of these time periods, five of them were disasters that were caused due to natural reasons. Whereas only one was actually largely man-made. Who was the man behind the man-made um, uh, disaster or the reason, right? So think about it. Uh, uh, who was the man behind the man-made reason is the question. Uh, let's uh, wait uh, for the others as I switch on the ticker. Uh, and I wait for all of you to think about the answer. So out of all these six time periods, uh, almost five of them were attributed to natural causes, right? The disasters were caused by natural causes, but one, they attributed to a man-made reason and a man, a man behind the man-made reason um, was attributed to this, gen this person. Okay, so time's up. And uh, I think we've gotten all the uh, responses. RMNLU, go on. What's your answer? I believe it's the Bengal famine and the person who is to be blamed for it, it's Winston Churchill. You say it's Bengal famine and... Um, uh, the you person's know, name is Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill's policies, uh, you know, led to the Bengal famine, Bengal famine right? right? Uh, in the year 19... Um, 43, right? So that's the right answer we were looking for. A very well great, 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 great. answer. Very well cracked answer there, I should say. Uh, keep it up. So this is uh, the Bengal famine and, um, you know, large amount of policies that uh, Winston Churchill put out uh, restricting, uh, you know, the grains to be uh, creating an artificial, this one with the grains, etc. really caused this thing uh, there. So good answering there. So let me um, look at the chat to see who all cracked it, right? Oh, um, folks, um, let me, okay. So some of you have gotten one part right and the other part wrong. Unfortunately, I very clearly said that I would need um, the person here and that's clear here. So GLC, uh, Mumbai, uh, getting full points. Uh, then we have IID Madras cracking it followed by uh, NMIM School of Law, Sri Venkateshwara College, uh, NIT Jamshedpur cracking it as well. Now, NLIU, unfortunately, uh, you know, you got the event right with the person wrong. I can't give it to you. Uh, and um, yeah, so that's the uh, overall tally. So I'm just gonna repeat it for the benefit of my team uh, taking care of scores. NIT Jamshedpur, uh, Sri Venkateshwara College, uh, NMIM School of Law, NIT, uh, IIT Madras, uh, GLC uh, Mumbai. Uh, along with uh, the, the question was to uh, RMNLU uh, and they crack it as well. Good answering all of you. Uh, with that, this is Winston Churchill and the Bengal famine was uh, what was the issue, right? Like, I mean, large part of the others were caused because of um, natural disasters or so on, but this specifically uh, was attributed to the policies. Uh, hi, Raghav. Okay. I just need to open the door for one minute. One moment, if that's possible. At my home, there's nobody there. I need to open the door for you. You just take a second. Okay, okay, sure. Um, looks like uh, one of the team... Uh, yeah, it's his mate, so she's been drinking him for five minutes. His mother will kill him, so he just quickly opening the door before the next question. Sure, sure, sure. I think uh, <laughs> I'll quickly wait for him to come back. Okay, he's back. I, I'm so sorry. I, I apologize. Okay, no problem. Yeah, we yeah, understand. Okay, cool. So let's begin with the next question, and that is to GLC Mumbai. So that's there direct as well. So, uh, GLC, your direct question coming up. All the others, get ready on the screen. Here comes. The Revolutionary was a four-page document whose manifesto-like style resembled the Purnaswaraj Declaration. 
It called for a constitution to be framed that should feature and highlight universal adult suffrage, nationalization of major industries, right to recall elected representatives, and group rights. However, in 1926, this document's existence was more bane than boon, serving as evidence in a case. Which case that might remind you of the dish picture did the revolutionary serve as evidence? Right? So the revolutionary uh, document here uh, acted as evidence of a very celebrated case. What are we talking about? So that's the question I've started the timer. So we've also given you a clue to work out this answer. It resembled the Purna Swaraj Declaration. This document was used as evidence. There was quite a bit of furore in the country, right? So um, we have uh, the times run out and the direct was to GLC Mumbai. Go ahead, uh, GLC. We have uh, Aditya. Hello. Uh, uh, I believe it's the Kakodi train robbery and this is the Kakodi kebab. So you're saying this is the Kakori kebab, Kakori uh, rain robbery or the Kakori conspiracy case. I'll give it to you. Very well done. Uh, uh, from DLC Mumbai, cracking it. Uh, uh, and let me look at the chat to see how many of the teams uh, got it right as well. So we have IIT Madras, NIT Jamshedpur, RMNLU, Sri Venkateshwara College, NLU uh, Odisha, NMIMS School of Law are uh, cracking it as well. So these are the teams uh, which crack it along with um, GLC Mumbai. So just to kind of repeat it for my team, got the scores. Okay, perfect. Okay, so here, uh, this is the Kakuri um, robbery case. And um, uh, and the, the whole idea was that, um, you know, uh, the case which was against Ram Prasad, uh, Bismil, and so on. Uh, this document was, uh, you know, where they had uh, written down these rights and so on. So they were. They, it was used to say that these people may be involved uh, in the uh, in the robbery and so on. So this document was specifically used as evidence uh, in the case. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, that's the Kakori conspiracy case. Moving on to. The next question. And of course, the Kakuri kebab itself has some rich history of uh, Avadi cuisine and supposedly it was served to a British man uh, and he seemed to not like it. And then the Avad king got his kitchen and his chief uh, chefs to uh, work on a more softer version. And that's how Kakuri kebab came about much later. Uh, and I think they, uh, I'm not sure if they used mango or uh, something to really soften it. Uh, I, I, yeah, so there, there's some uh, major story behind the uh, the Kakori kebab itself. Yeah, so um, that's a Kakori conspiracy case. And the next question coming up on the screen, and this is to uh, NMIMS School of Law. Your direct question coming up on the screen now. Connect. Right. So I will start the timer. Okay, I don't know why the timer is. Got it. Okay, the time's up. And um, the direct question was to NMIMS School of Law. Go on, guys. <coughs> yeah, uh, our answer is JRD data. Um, explain. <coughs> uh, we, we, we are actually very clueless, so we're just taking a hunch. <laughs> okay, clueless. 
But uh, nevertheless, say a, a, a very great man indeed, J.R.D. Uh, Tata is what NM, NMIMS uh, go on to say. And uh, let me look at the chat. Um, okay, so in the chat though, oh, quite a few of you have cracked that answer. Uh, let me invite um, Ankit from Sri Venkateshwara College to give out this answer, please. Uh, okay, so we think that's the logo of the Theosophical Society of India, of which I was in. I think I believe she was the founding member. Match girls and the rest was <laughs> we were clueless as well, but we feel that they, that was our main uh, guiding principle for Animation, that logo of Theosophical Society of India. So just by going yes, through based the, on that, yeah, going by the logo of uh, the Theosophical Society of India, though she was not the founder, but she's very actively involved in the yeah. Geosophical Society of India, right? So that yeah. is the right answer. And that is uh, nice. <laughs> yeah, and that is just and that is Jiddu Krishnamurti, who mm -hmm. uh, uh, was almost an adopted son of Annie Besant. Uh, and uh, Annie Besant, interestingly, uh, before she came to India, was very actively involved in um, uh, you know, the Irish independence movement. Uh, and she was part of this movement called the Match Girl Strike. And she wrote about it as, uh, as well, which is about the, uh, uh, you know, the labor distress of uh, women laborers in um, Ireland. Uh, and then, uh, of course, the Sunday Bloody Sunday song by U2, uh, U2 was also uh, was um, about the uh, you know the uh, Bloody Sunday movement, uh, right? And uh, Annie Besant was part of it as well. So that was the connection we were looking for. Uh, Annie Besant was the answer, and the teams which cracked it right. Uh, we have IIT Madras, uh, NLIU, um, uh, Odisha, uh, Sri Venkateshwara College. NIT um, Jamshedpur. And yeah, I think that's where we stop. Uh, RMNLU said IRA, Irish Republican Army, not quite here, uh, but good thinking as well, right? So let me repeat it for the benefit of everyone. So the teams which cracked it right are NIT Jamshedpur, uh, NIT Jamshedpur, Sri Venkateshwara College, uh, NLU Odisha, IIT Madras, and that's our tally of teams which got the answer right. Okay, so I'm just checking if the team got it. Perfect. Okay, so that's uh, Annie Besant and uh, all of you uh, getting that answer right. Okay, wonderful. The next set of questions, the last two teams of the Popuri round uh, School of Law, Christ University, this is a direct question for you guys. Get ready, your question on the screen now. This is Queen Devaja Ammanni, wife of Krishna Raja Vadayar III. According to historian Nigel Chancellor, this 1805 painting is proof she underwent a process that an Englishman had come up with just six years prior. This painting supposedly served as a drive to push other Indians to take up the process as well. Which process are we talking about? Image is a big clue. So with that, uh, I shall start the timer for all the rest to think through this. Uh, I thought this is quite interesting and fascinating as well. Um, an interesting painting, right? So the Queen Devaja Ammani of the Mysore Vadayar dynasty was on among the first few people from India to undergo a process. Time's up. And um, I've gotten, let me look at all the responses because I just want to, okay, so I've gotten the uh, responses. And uh, let me go to uh, School of Law, Christ University, uh, Captain Rajat. Go on. What's your answer, Rajat? Uh, so we don't have, unfortunately, we don't have a clue on this one. And we are going to go with uh, uh, woman suffrage. <laughs> you, you, uh, if you can repeat that answer again. Uh, we are going with woman suffrage. Okay. Woman suffrage. Okay. 
okay women's suffrage okay suffrage movement or the women's suffrage you said right? women's suffrage da you only told them <laughs> Yeah, that's okay he's like you only told uh, <laughs> don't worry captain you need to bear the brunt of getting it right or wrong so uh, we've taken the answer uh, but uh, in the um, chat let me um, okay so looks like nmis nm ims school of law uh, captain has been disconnected i'm going to wait for you to come back though but in the meanwhile uh, because Uh, okay, this happened after the quiz, so I'm quite uh, okay. So let me uh, ask uh, one of you to give out this answer. Uh, NLU Odisha uh, team, uh, why don't you take a crack at this? Uh, Prajwal from uh, NLU Odisha, or anybody from the team? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, okay. So we think um, this is uh, Edward Jenner from 1799. So my teammate said that, and I just went on that hunch, and we just answered it. Wow! Because the timeline fits. So, six years prior to eighteen zero five, seventeen ninety nine, Edward Jenner coming with a vaccination. Yes, guys. Yes. For smallpox, and uh, this is and if you uh, the the thing that we really wanted you to work out was from also the image. If you look closely at the image, you can see the hand. Uh, she had gone through a procedure of vaccination, uh, right? Uh, and uh, for us, it is quite fascinating that um, the Mysore. Uh, Maharaja Maharani was behind, behind like a little bit of awareness on vaccination and so on in India. Uh, this is for smallpox vaccination uh, that uh, Queen Devaja Ammani uh, uh, had to go. And considering this is Dasra and Mysore Dasra is quite famous, uh, quite interesting. Uh, now, uh, NLU Odisha, that's a good answer. And the teams which cracked it as well. So let me call out the teams which got it right. So we have Uh, NIT Jamshedpur was one of the first teams to crack it, spot on. NLU Odisha has gotten it right as well. RMNLU Lucknow, uh, RMNLU Lucknow, um, IIT Madras, yeah. So IIT Madras, RMNLU Lucknow, NLU Odisha, and NIT Jamshedpur are the teams which cracked this answer right. And in the meanwhile, I just want to check if NMIM is School of Law. Are you guys back? Is the captain back? Uh, uh, no, actually, okay. he's uh, trying to get in. Okay. Uh, uh, just two please, minutes. If you can our team. It. Our call has been disconnected. Can you just wait for it to reconnect? Okay. Um. Uh. Which team is this? NIT. Okay. So NIT Jamshedpur. Uh, I Hello? think doctor's call might have. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. I just okay. So we'll just give them a second. Okay, please pause on for a second. Is what instruction I'm getting. So I'm just waiting for uh, all of you to take a moment. Uh, yes, this the right answer, of course. Here was um, vaccination. Okay, so NIT team seems to have uh, also gotten. So let me do one thing. Just uh, okay, uh, if it's taking longer, I think I can ask a couple of audience questions in the meanwhile. All uh, right. So let me stop share, and uh, probably just give me a second. In the meanwhile, I think I can ask uh, one or two audience. Oh, restart, please. Okay, wonderful. So we are on track. Okay, so let me start off. Okay, cool. So we have uh, all of them back. Okay, wonderful. Right. So NMM, I'm NMIM School of Law and NIT. You guys hopefully are on call. Yeah. Okay. I think our captain is still waiting for. Uh, she's connecting. Like he's he's joined the call, but he's still getting connected. So. Okay. Um, I'm just waiting for a cue from the team to say. If you yes, are sir. Uh, he's he's there. He's there. He's there. Okay, wonderful. Let's begin. The next question is to IIT Madras. Your direct question coming up on the screen. Connect. Right. So I'm starting the timer. Guys, mute yourself. Mute yourselves, please. Mute yourselves.
right sir uh, our captain was trying to pounce but he got disconnected again uh guys um look this has happened again so uh, you know what just I, i you you need to type in your answer right now smith or whoever from your team yes yes just uh yes uh, prateeti is writing it sir to you yeah so i'm like for the benefit democracy, of the democracy. team guys i'm just using my discretion here i need your answer right now guys okay fine uh, someone is unmuted and like saying out the answer if you can request others to mute themselves yeah guys mute yourselves completely during the course of the quiz uh that's very important right and the direct was to direct was to iit madras um akya if you can give out the answer please so is the answer democracy i mean that is the varun grover's thing that i see as democracy then this cholan empire system it was for like choosing the representatives that they would keep the leaves in the pot and one child will be asked to pick one, like one of the leaves sort of thing and then that fellow in the left is like the fellow, the person who coined the word democracy maybe like that greek philosopher or something okay and um, how does the others connect you want to give it a shot um, i'm not exactly sure who do you though. see in the bottom right yeah abraham lincoln yeah and... any guesses there i guess like elections and democracy or no it's not exactly sure shit uh i'm giving the answer is democracy okay so they say democracy and um right okay got it so let me um and they have gotten it right so well done uh so that is democracy and i think <laughs> he was just hoping that with a couple of uh, that is clayston is who's known as the father of a uh, modern democracy uh in recent like so he he brought out the different elements of how it, it you, you could conduct uh, el, uh, elections and so on and he put out principles of uh, of democratic principles etc um so this is athena is uh, widely known as the uh, goddess of uh, justice and democracy uh that's gettysburg address of abraham lincoln right so uh, where you have um, uh, the famous quote on democracy for the people by the people of the people uh, this is icc they say democracy uh, the band's name has democracy in it uh, right around uh, and so on so this is a uh, children empire and as you rightly said uh, used a pot with leaves to a kind of identify the ruler Washington Post had in its tagline uh, right from the uh, darkness democracy or something so there is democracy which is part of the tagline of Washington Post right so that was the uh, 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 you know elements of the theme that we were looking for and uh, let me look at the answers uh, from the chat um, as i open the chat and look at the answers so there is called democracy dies in the darkness so that was the uh, tagline of washington post i think quite iconic and famous um, right so uh, the teams which have gotten it are right are um, let me go back and look at all the teams which have cracked it so we have glc mumbai uh, who has cracked it uh, we have shri venkateshwara college um, who has cracked it nlu odisha has cracked it <laughs> so nlu rmn you luck now uh, i don't know if you were really being ironic when you said stand up comedy i just hope we aren't i hope democracy isn't a stand up comedy but uh, i i can i i kind of see the uh, i don't know whether you knew the answer and you are just like putting it out there i'm not sure uh, nit jamshedpur uh, and um, uh nmms uh, i'll take your answer which is again they also got it right so we have nmims uh, school of law nit jamshedpur uh nlu uh, 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 nlu odisha uh, shri venkateshwara college and uh, uh, glc mumbai who cracked this right team can you just give me a heads up on whether you are through with the scores uh, if you are through with the scores yes perfect so with that we've come to the end of our first round
So let's, uh, before we jump into the second round, let's take a breather with some audience questions as the team uh, gets the scoring right and so on. So for all the teams and audience members from YouTube channel who are logging in, here are some of the questions for you, right? So uh, some audience questions for you, here goes. So this, what inspired the height of this record-breaking structure completed in 2018 uh, by the sculptor picture, uh, right? So uh, if you... Right, some of you have answered it. So what inspired the height of uh, this record-breaking structure completed in 2018 by the sculpture picture? Okay, so looking at all of you to give out the answer. So am I uh, just waiting for somebody from YouTube channel to crack the crack the answer. Okay, there seems to be a lag on YouTube uh, and I just need to hold on. So I have one of uh, from GLC Mumbai uh, who has answered it though. So I'll come to you. Uh, you can answer for brownie points nevertheless. Uh, this is the Statue of Unity which broke records in 2018. Okay, so you, you went ahead and uh, uh, gave out the answer, but I think we were waiting for YouTube uh, folks to give out the answer too. But considering there is a lag, they might uh, hear you a little later. So that still should be okay. Um, so, okay, so we have some answers that have come in. Um, Shashank Pandey, Amit, Rhythm Kataria, who have answered it. So yes, this is, uh, but the interesting thing that we were, uh, you know, looking at was that 182 meters of the Statue of Unity was total democratic assembly constituencies in the state uh, in the state of Gujarat, right? Uh, and that was how they decided that 182 meters would be the height of the Statue of Unity, uh, and that was because of 182 constituencies of the Legislative Assembly um, uh, in um, uh, Gujarat, right? So that was the uh, idea behind it. Uh, and uh, next question uh, for the audience members, here comes. So fill in the blank. Uh, what would you put out here if you say mama, somebody uh, has stolen grandma's book, which book dash ways to subvert the constitution, etc. So, um, I, I mean, this is one of the caricatures uh, that is put out here. Uh, just think of a, a you know a, a, a particularly uh, what what would go well with dash ways to subvert the constitution uh, there uh, in fact if you think through uh, you know some of the answers uh, yeah so this is a caricature okay so, so some of you have answered uh, for those of you who answered the previous answer we have rajiv ratnam shashank pandey um, who've all gotten it right. So keep it up, guys. Um, and from, right, so Rhythm Kataria has got given the right answer. Uh, and um, you are right, 356, Article 356 was the reference here. 356 ways of, um, uh, you know, subverting the Constitution. Article 356 that was imposed in our natural long back. But uh, this is uh, 356, uh, well worked out, guys. And with that, I think the scores are ready. Let me stop share and uh, let's get the scores up to see where do the team stand after the first round of quizzing the knockout round one. Yes, we have with us National Institute of Technology, Jamshedpur, which has gotten 8,000 points. And I should say that is fantastic. Why? Because they seem to have cracked all the questions in the Popuri round. Uh, that I think is almost um, uh, first of its kind uh, because we've gotten all the popery rounds till now, right? So we have National Institute of Technology Jamshedpur with 8,000, IIT Madras with 7,000. Looks like the engineering students 
are uh, truly outwitting all the political science and the law students today uh, with uh, you know top scores in the first round. And then we have NLU Odisha, 6,000, Sri Venkateshwara College with 6,000, Ram Manohar Loya, um, RMNLU with 5,000, GLC Mumbai with 6,000, NMIM School of Law with 5,000 points, and School of Law Christ University with 1,000 points, right? Uh, so well done, all of you, good scoring, all of you, getting some very nice questions, right? Uh, and uh, we are ready now to jump into the next round, which is the listed round. So listed, uh, let me share the screen. Uh, just give me a second. Listed will be conducted by my colleague Vaishnavi. And uh, let me share the screen for all of you. Here it goes. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to uh, round two list it where uh, inky pinky ponky may not come to uh, your rescue. So you need to be very careful on this round. Uh, so let's take a look at the rules. We have eight questions, one directed to each team, nine options appear in the grid. Six of them are correct and uh, three of them are incorrect. So you can choose up to six. So it's not compulsory for you to choose all six at any point in time. You feel like we don't want to risk it. You can you can take a step back and say, we end the game here. Uh, so we start anti-clockwise, starting with uh, IIT Madras, team number eight. You get 60 seconds per team, and the question does not pass, which means all the pressure is only on that one particular team, and the rest of you can relax until your turn comes. So 500 points for every correct answer. And uh, if, you get a wrong, if you get an answer wrong, all the points that you have scored in this particular round come to a dramatic zero. So please be very careful. And also I request the captain to clearly mention, we choose so-and-so option, right? And please go slow, please go one by one um, and keep an eye on the timer. So with that, wishing uh, good luck to all the teams, uh, take a deep breath in, relax and uh, make careful choices. And let's start with IIT Madras. Captain of IIT Madras, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Are your team members ready? Oh, yeah, obviously have to be. Okay, okay, okay they okay. have to be. They have no choice. And let's take a look at the grid. Okay. Expenses charged to the Consolidated Fund of India. So these are expenses that have to be paid irrespective of whether the budget is passed or not. So let's start the timer. Guys, ideas. Salary of the president. Salary of the president. Can we go no, ahead with it? No, one second. Okay. Uh, Captain, please be very clear. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah, so first thing was salary. Okay. Yeah, so salary of the president, we are going with that. Okay, salary of the president. Okay. 35 seconds to go. Twenty-five seconds. This is the salary of deputy chairman of Rajya Sabha. Okay, can we go ahead with that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank God we got to correct. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds, Captain. Uh, I guess we'll stop here only. Like, we'll stop I don't it. want to take risks okay. too much. That's the, uh, I must say, that's probably the maximum amount of stress he has undergone. Um, so, and they want to play it safe. So they said if the salary of the president is correct, probably salary of deputy chairman is also correct. Uh, so with that, they get two correct answers and they get 1000 points. So uh, captain, you can relax now. Now, if you were to, if you were given four more chances, what would you choose? No pressure. What? Uh, administrative expenses of the election commission, maybe? Maybe. Okay, let's see. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> the huge sigh of relief. Okay, three more chances. Uh, salary of Supreme Court judges, maybe? Salary of Supreme Court judges. There's nothing to lose now, so oh, sure. Yeah. RBI governor salary. Salary of RBI governor is what they say. 
Okay, one more choice. Uh, maybe UPSC chairman salary. Okay, salary of chairman of UPSC. Let's see. yeah. So that is correct. And the other incorrect answer was salary of deputy chairman of Niti Aayog. So pension of high court judges and salary of uh, CAG are charged to the Consolidated Fund of India. Uh, so with that, you can relax. Uh, IT uh, Madras team and captain. And now the pressure moves on to uh, School of Law, Christ University. Captain, are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Okay. Uh, are your team members ready? Are they all connected? Yeah, yeah, they're connected. So this is your grid works of Constituent Assembly member K M Munshi. And let's start the timer. Oh, the golden threshold. The golden threshold. It's not there because it's a uh, 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 Sarojini Naidu. Okay. Uh, 52 seconds, Captain. Go with one Modern Life. The scope of happening. We'll go with Bhagavad Gita and Modern Life. Uh, we, we choose Bhagavad Gita and Modern Life. Bhagavad Gita and Modern Life. Coming to your rescue. Yeah. 33 Enough seconds for? to go. Another one will give or will stop? 30 seconds. Follow Mahatma Gandhi. The golden account in this time, I don't know. The glory of Patan. No, I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll stop. Twenty huh? seconds, Captain. You can still think. You can still think and discuss. Fifteen seconds. Yeah, account in this time, I don't think so. Glory of Patan. Ten seconds. Five seconds, Captain. I will will stop this time. Okay, and they just wanted to go. They just wanted the timer to end, and uh, they get one answer correct, so they get five hundred points. Uh, but otherwise, what would you choose, Captain? We would go with the uh, which one? Glory of Patan. No? Glory of Patan. Okay, Glory of Patan or Patan. That was correct. Uh, then the. And the next one, Delhi is not far. Delhi is not far, but that's actually a book by Ruskin Bond. Uh, scope of happiness. Scope of happiness is actually a book by Vijay Lakshmi Pandit. Two more chances. I follow Mahatma Gandhi. Okay. Pilgrimage, pilgrim, pilgrimage okay. to freedom. Pilgrimage to freedom. Okay, one last chance. Uh, which one? The ruin that Britain bought. Okay, the ruin that Britain wrought. Okay, that was correct. And the other correct answer was I follow mm-hmm. Mahatma Gandhi and Akhand Hindustan. So they knew the golden threshold was one incorrect answer because it was by Sarojini Naidu. Uh, good elimination, I must say. and they wanted to play safe and not risk it uh, okay moving on from christ uh, law uh, school of law christ uh, university bangalore we go to nmims uh, team number 6 captain can we hear from you yeah we are here okay uh, and your team members are on call are they ready ready guys okay we are ready okay they are ready okay let's see the grid moderate camp of indian national congress as per surat split of 1907 so let's oh start God. the timer okay they are freaking out right the moderates of the indian think i think 52 seconds you 50 seconds so uh, right Okay, we're going for Dada Bhai Naroji. They're going with Dada Bhai Naroji. Five hundred points into the okay. account unless they miss it. Thirty next. seconds. Uh, Firoz Shah Mehta next. Firoz Shah Mehta next. Let's go. Okay. Next. Okay. The next is W C Banerjee. W C Banerjee. Okay, let's go with W C Banerjee. You okay. got three. Three more to go. 10 seconds uh gopal krishna gokhle next gopal krishna gokhle let's see if he can help you yes yeah. okay can. next is ao hume ao hume okay and time up 
let's see that we got was five. we got five guys they got five and a sigh of relief uh they have five correct answers okay what what would be your one last choice captain uh madan mohan malviya madan mohan malviya and that would have been a great answer and they could and you could have got all six correct but at least you played it safe and you didn't lose it so um, so they will probably celebrate until we uh, end this round so let's move on from kpm soul to government uh, law college so government law college captain can we hear from you oh yeah bharadwaj is having some zoom problem so i'll be going with him he's with me on zoom call and he's okay busy. Are all your team members there? Are they connected? Yeah, my team members are there, and I'll just say go X so you can go with it. Okay, so they are making the orders uh, very specific and clear. Let's see your grid, GLC. Indian female chief ministers. So let's start the timer. Okay. Uh, Ram, go go Ram Chandra, Janki Ram Chandra. Janki Ram Chandra. Yeah. Let's go with. Yeah, Chief Minister, uh, former Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu. Go, go, Rabri Devi. Okay, go, Rabri Devi. Sounds like a sweet shop order. Short. They, uh, Bharata Jyoti Lakshmi Pandit, nahi hai. Forty seconds. Uh, so we can. Uh, Four more to go. Uh, Let's see if you can beat KPM Soul's record. You want to go for Saroshi Naidu? Twenty-eight seconds, Captain. Uh. I mean, Rajendra Kaul Bhattal. Uh, let's go for Saroshni Nain. That could be the trap. Uh, Fifteen seconds. Okay, go, go Bhattal, go Bhattal. Go Rajendra Kaul Bhattal. Yeah. And go, 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 go Kaku Kakolkar. Let's go for Kakolkar. Okay, go, go with Shashi Kala Kakolkar. Yeah. Former Minister of Goa. Okay, you got four okay. and two seconds. Uh, go for and... Satpati. Go for Satpati. Go for Satpati. Okay, we will go with Satpati. Sure. Yeah, Nandini Satpati, former Chief Minister of Odisha, and they have tied the record with KPM Sol by getting five of them correct. But what would you choose? What was the other one that you had intense discussions? So, in? so Vijay Lakshmi Pandit is not what I go for. Saroshi Naidu, I'm unsure it could be a trap. So Kavita is saying it could be Aruna Asaf Ali. So we'll go with Aruna Asaf Ali. Aruna Asaf Ali. Okay, let's see. Well. You you were just saved from getting bashed up by your team members. So uh, the other correct answer was Saida Anwara Tamur, who is the former Chief Minister of Assam. And good thinking that Saroji Naidu is a trap. Uh, yeah, it she was a trap here. In this case, Saroji Naidu and Vijay Lakshmi Pandit were not uh, female Chief Ministers of any specific state. Okay, good luck. Uh, so with that, we move on. From uh, GLC to uh, Ram Manohar Lohia, team number four, captain, uh, are you here? Can you hear from you? Yes. Am I audible? Yes, loud and clear. And are your team members connected? Is everyone here? Yeah, they are connected. They are connected. Okay, super. Let's see your grid. Let's see your options. Non-permanent members of the United Nations Security Council, and let's start the timer. So this is the current one. Some of them end in 2020, and some of their term ends in uh, 2021. So there are 10 non-permanent members. Right now. Yes, right now. But on the grid, you have nine. So 43 seconds, Captain. Time is running out. Niger. Uh, go for Niger. Okay, let's go with Niger, the tiny country, Niger. Five hundred points in your account, unless you take a wrong Saint step. Saint Vincent and the uh, go for Saint Vincent. Let's go with Saint Vincent and the Grenadines. Perfect, thousand points, and you have eighteen. Please go for Tunisia. Let's Tunisia. Go with Tunisia. Perfect, three in your account. Please go for Vietnam. Vietnam. Let's go with Vietnam. Vietnam. Okay, five seconds, Captain. Please go for Estonia. Okay, please Estonia. go for Estonia. Estonia. Yeah, let's go with Estonia. 
great great great, 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 great and great, great. Uh, they are surprised themselves that they've got five correct and uh, what would be one last choice so you've got five it's safe nothing to uh, affect that score i believe pakistan i believe pakistan is in a trap and so very careful about the traps i must say yeah. one last choice kenya let's go for kenya okay let's go with kenya can we well that was incorrect oh. and they're very happy about that decision of theirs so indonesia <laughs> let's take a look at indonesia that is the correct answer uh so good job nlu uh, you can relax and while we move the pressure to shri venkateshwara college delhi okay shri venkateshwara college uh, can we hear from the captain oh uh, yeah i'm here can you guys hear me yes we can hear you you need yes. to be a little louder and uh, are your team members connected do we have everyone uh yes we have Oh. Okay. Uh all right so let's take a look at your grid. Cooperative oh, societies in India. These are voluntary organizations with common goals of their members and let's start the timer. Um So a voluntary organization um right is it a cooperative with the aim uh-huh. of which yeah. has okay, common so should i go with it hold it okay so uh, okay we do with am- amul amul okay let's go with amul okay uh, 34 okay. seconds okay. operative 29 seconds legit popper i believe has 24 seconds okay. they are happy with their decision and they're happy to get 1000 points and not to risk it with any wrong steps but with no pressure um, and uh, not affecting the score what would your other four choices be i'll say anything now okay if you don't i think i don't have this so terry terry okay the energy research institute is not a cooperative society i don't even know what thing okay okay uh, i uh, nascom I, i don't know like we on i don't see don't have a clue about this okay nascom okay Not. i don't know i'm just saying anything <laughs> okay yeah. all right so i've totally given up but go ahead just you know you can consult your team if members co- if co-, co yes that is a cooperative society for farmers yeah. uh which provides them support yeah okay and one last choice so you clear uh, that nabard is a bank so it okay, does indian coffee house indian coffee house yeah that is correct and the other correct answers are uh, co-op tech which promotes uh, the weaves of tamil nadu and seva bank by ila bhat and uh, they knew that nabard is a regulatory authority and not a cooperative society and uh, i must say all teams are very careful about the traps that we put they know how to avoid it but they they're still confused with the correct options um uh, yeah with that uh, svc can uh, relax as we move on to team 2 nluo uh prajwal and team can we hear from you uh, h- hello vaishnavi i think prajwal is having some connectivity issues okay so i'll be uh, telling you the answers Okay, sure. But uh, and, uh, is everyone connected on call though? Yeah, yeah, we uh, we are connected on call. And also, just adding one thing, we'll also apply the GLC wala thing, and we'll also tell go this and so that. Yeah. Okay, learning from other teams. So the moment they say go, that's we that's when we will charge and let's 
Yeah, guys, ready, guys. Take a look at your grid. Okay. Qualifications, Qualifications to, be... to be a member of parliament of oh, Lok okay. Sabha. And let's start uh, the timer. Hold okay, on, hold on. Let's start citizen, the timer. Must be a citizen of India. We didn't hear go. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry. Go, go. Okay. Uh, okay, hold office of profit. Nahi hai na. 45 must seconds. Be a, must be a voter in any parliamentary constituency, right? That should be the second one. Ma, go, go, must be a voter in a parliamentary constituency. Okay, go, must be a voter in any parliamentary constituency in India. 31 seconds. Maybe convicted Four, and sentenced to like that. 25 seconds. Five proposals of an independent candidate, right? Five proposals of an independent candidate. Would you go for it? 15 seconds. You have four more to go and you have 1,000 in your account as of okay, now. Okay, uh, one proposal for a candidate from my record. Okay, go security deposit of 25,000. Go security deposit of 25,000. Three seconds. We'll, we'll, we'll just stop. We'll just stop. Okay, they'll just stop. So they have uh, three correct answers into account. But what were the other things that you were discussing? Uh, five proposals on an independent candidate. Five proposals of an independent candidate. Let's take a look at that. Uh, that is incorrect. You need 10 proposers uh, in uh, case oh, any planning yeah. to be an independent candidate. Uh, okay, so uh, apart, hold of profit, office of profit. Nahi hai. Okay, lodge an account of election expense with the prescribed time and manner. Okay, we didn't hear go, but sure, we'll go, go ahead with uh, it. Right now, it, it okay. doesn't make any sense. So, doesn't yeah, make any sense. It. Sure. Okay, that um, is correct. Okay, uh, one proposal from a, for a candidate from a recognized political party. Okay, one proposal for a candidate from a recognized political party. That is correct. Yeah, and the other uh, correct I, answer is. Uh, I think I guess maybe convicted and, and sentenced to less than two years of imprisonment for offense. Yes, that is perfectly correct. Uh, that, uh, uh, that's not. That convicted was the less than two list. years, then you can contest. Uh, so there is no rule saying that you need to be at least yeah, 10 pass. This one because the laws and account. Okay, and uh, they were very clear that uh, holding an office of profit is a wrong answer. But they were just moving around and thinking, okay, what could be the other trap? And but I'm sure they were happy with their uh, decision. And moving, so we thought this is something important to discuss in case anybody is planning on contesting. Uh, to be a member of parliament uh, sometime in future and represent the constituency. Uh, moving on from NLUO to NIT Jamshedpur, who have been on a roll in the first round. Uh, can we hear from you, Captain? NLUO. Yeah, hello. Am I audible? Yes, loud and clear. And uh, yeah. are you just, just one thing? Yes. Yeah, I'll, until I, unless I say go X or go Y, please don't select the choice. Okay, all right. I've taken yeah. the command. Okay, uh, are all the team members on call? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's start. This is your grid. Countries with constitutional monarchies where the, con the monarch, monarch shares huh? his responsibilities along with a huh? government appointed by Bata the country. And let's start the timer. Hmm? A monarch plus constitutional government. Fifty seconds. Uh, go for Cambodia. Go for Cambodia. Let's go. Okay. Forty seconds. Uh, go for Jordan. Go for Jordan. Thirty-one seconds. Four more to go. 25 uh, go for Bahrain, Bahrain, Bahrain. Bahrain, let's go for Bahrain. Three correct, three more to go. 15 seconds. 10 seconds, Captain. Mm, Five seconds. And Chordia. So you've got three correct and you have 1,000 points. Uh, but now you can take a guess. I think Qatar, Qatar, we missed out. You missed out on Qatar? 
Oh, okay. thank God. Thanks. Yeah, you missed out. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> Other Anything else you want voices? to say? Brunei. Brunei. Another reason Extremes. to thank your stars today. And One last chance. I think Bhutan is not there. So. Bhutan, okay. And well, Bhutan is actually the correct answer. Um, mm. Yeah. So the other correct answers that we were looking for is for were Denmark and Belgium. So uh, they are happy uh, and uh, thank God it's done is the expression. So yeah, that marks the end of listed with a lot of drama, lot of um, spotting and spotting traps. And uh, with that, let's move on to our next uh, part of today's uh, knockout round. Right. Uh, I think just wanted to check if our scores are ready. Uh, we can go to the scores and uh, just wanted to check uh, they are ready, uh, but uh, IID Madras, Akyat, are you guys logged in? Uh, if you have so, not logged in, on like, the post, uh, you can log in again. Okay, uh, we, we will, uh, uh, team, if you can just share the uh, pin again, Kahoot pin on the... The Kahoot pin, you have shared it on the private chat, sir. I got it from there. Yeah, yeah, you can log in again. Are you in a position mm -hmm. to log in? Uh, one second. Uh, no, this is saying that the nickname has been taken. Yeah, just uh, give another nickname and okay. join. Okay, so as the teams get ready with, uh, I think I'll just run one audience question in between to get our scores also uh, in order. Uh, oh, okay, scores are already in order. So let me. Okay, so after two rounds, and I have to say the listed round truly is, uh, I don't know, it, it gets the stress up on all the team members. <laughs> you should see. Especially IIT Madras team was like, oof, they were just so happy that, okay, it's ended. Now, uh, NIT Jamshedpur with 9,500 points uh, and uh, NLU Odisha with 7,500, Sri Venkateshwara College with 7,000, Dr. Ram Manohar Lavaya National University with 7,500, Government Law College Mumbai with 8,500, uh, NMIMS School of Law with 7,500, School of Law, Christ University, Bangalore with 1,500 points, and Indian Institute of Technology, Madras with 8,000 points. Looks like uh, presently uh, NID Jamshedpur is in lead, followed by Government Law College, Mumbai, and, uh, and uh, not far behind is IIT Madras, and all the other teams are um, in striking distance. Now, Kahoot can be anybody's game. Right, so uh, wishing you all the very best. Right, accuracy is as important. So uh, just play it. Uh, 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 I mean, just take your time and answer. Uh, there is about thirty seconds to some questions and one minute to some questions, and I'll explain that. Uh, NLU Odisha, you guys wanted. Can you wait for a few minutes? My internet is going up and down, and the team at needs to install. Uh, okay. So in the meanwhile, uh, let me take this opportunity to run an audience question. In the meanwhile, I'll also check uh, Kahoot uh, if everyone's inside. Uh, we are, I think, missing NLU Odisha itself. Okay, cool. So let me, in the meanwhile, uh, run an audience question. Problem solved, it says. Okay, so good NMIMS. Happy to note that uh, you guys have solved that problem. Your question, audience team members, what term was coined by the famous freedom fighter and Urdu poet sitting next to Ambedkar, right? Um, uh, I mean, this is uh, from our previous editions of our uh, conquest. Uh, we've uh, asked this question, uh, right? And uh, if you have, okay, so we have some team members who have answered it. Uh, and I'm just waiting for some of you to get that right in the meanwhile. Okay, uh, in on YouTube channel team, if you guys have, uh, Ishan has answered it as well. So congratulations, Ishan. Uh, you've gotten it right. And uh, in no particular order, can I ask um, NMIMS Dashil to give out this answer, please? Uh, yeah, it's Inkalab Zindabad. Inkilab Zindabad. And can you identify the gentleman who came up with the term? Uh, we're not sure. We're not sure. We just made a guess. 
Okay, so this is Hasrat Mohani who okay. came up with the term. So, uh, Maulana Hasrat Mohani uh, who coined the term Inkilab, Zindabad, good answering there. Um, right. Okay, so uh, uh, NLLU uh, Odisha, you know what? We can't change it internally. I can't change any nicknames. So, just give uh, a different nickname and join. Right? So I hope you guys are in a position to join. And we have Ram Krishna and Shashank also who have cracked the answer right. Got it. Super. Right. Uh, just wanted to, in the meanwhile, check if the Kahoot screen uh, we've gotten everybody. Um, okay. We have everybody on uh, call. Okay. Cool. So let me, uh, in fact, uh, get you all on Kahoot screen. Uh, we will start off the Kahoot thing and I'll run a couple more audience questions uh, if uh, right after that, because we want to keep time and close by six. So let me uh, quickly uh, run the, this one. Just give me a second in the meanwhile. Let me... Okay, so we have all the six teams. I just want to check the Kahoot um, and uh, let me close this one and let's share screen. All the teams wishing you guys the best. The last round of our knockout round where we get to know who the top two teams who will uh, move into the grand finale from our knockout round is. Best wishes. Here comes the first question. Captains, be ready. Your question's coming up on the screen now. Three, two, one. Which document presented by George Lansbury in the British Parliament is said to have inspired the Nehru report? Is it the Pune Pact? Is it the Constitution of India Bill? Is it the Commonwealth of India Bill? Or is it the Sapru Committee report? In many ways, Nehru report was um, quite, um, you know, iconic to say the least, which is they had thought of many fundamental rights, and so on, uh, right? From an historical constitution's perspective, Nehru report played a very important part. It was chaired by Motilal Nehru. And interestingly, Jawaharlal Nehru was, I think, the secretary or so in the report, right? Yes, the right answer is the Commonwealth of India bill, right? And uh, this was also uh, whether India should be part of the Commonwealth or not was uh, part of it. So this is a Commonwealth of India bill. Uh, and uh, looks like five of you have cracked it. So let's look at the scores after the first round. We have with us um, GLC Mumbai, who's taken up the lead, followed by IIT Madras, NLU Odisha, NIT Jamshedpur, and NLU Lucknow, uh, RMNLU Lucknow, all closed uh, by, I think, the first question answered well by everyone. Next question on your screens now. What pun on a 1930s event forms the three word title of this book on sedition in India? Is it the word war? Is it bust bowl? Is it the new seal? Or is it the great repression? We thought it's a very interesting pun. What pun on a 1930s event forms the three word title of this book on sedition in India. Okay, a lot of you getting that right. We thought the from Great Depression was the event that we're looking at, although started in 1929 and moved through 1930s. The Great Repression, and uh, obviously reference to the uh, you know the sedition laws of the country. So good answering all of you. Seven of you cracking that right. So we have with us GLC Mumbai taking the lead, followed by NLU Odisha, NIT Jamshedpur, NLU Lucknow, and School of Law Christ University in the top five. It's getting interesting in the scoreboard. Let's look at the next question. Teams, get ready. Your question on the screen. Identify this constituent assembly member and former president of the Indian Women's Hockey Federation. Is it Kamala Chowdhury? Is it Begum uh, Isas Rasul? Or is it Leela Roy? Or is it Malati Chowdhury? 
which whose this personality in the image as the image reveals itself, constituent assembly member and former president of the Indian Women's Hockey Federation. Kamala Chaudhary, Begum Isis Razul, Leela Roy, Malati Chaudhary. So Begum Rasul is the right answer. And uh, five of you cracking that. What we thought very interesting was also that she was a prolific hockey player, right? And she was a president of the Indian uh, Women's Hockey Federation also. Uh, Begum Isis Razul is the right answer. Five of you getting the right. And um, let's show where the scoreboard. Oh, oh, RMNLU Lucknow is on fire. They seem to have come back into the game. GLC Mumbai keeps the lead, followed by NLU RMNLU Lucknow, IIT Madras, NLU Odisha, and NIT Jamshedpur in the top five. Right? So all of them doing well for themselves in this round. Next question. Get ready. Here comes. The activist picture led a massive village protest against which project inspired by the Italian town of Portofino. Portofino, sorry for that, Portofino. Italian town of Portofino. Is it Ambi Valley? Is it Rajar Hut? Is it Lavasa or is it Kailasa? Right? The activist that you see in the image led a mass village protest against a project inspired by the Italian town of Porto Fino, and that is Lavasa. And all of you cracking the right, this is the uh, Lavasa township in Pune, and uh, it was inspired by this Italian town of Porto Fino, and that was Meda Parker who led the mass movement. Like, And I think the large part of it was the impact of the environment and so on, the lush green um, hills uh, of the Sayadri uh, that I uh, think they were protecting and, uh, and the villages uh, and so on. So that was the idea for this. So uh, we have with us GLC Mumbai, who keeps the lead, followed by IID Madras, NLU Lucknow, NLU Odisha, and School of Law, Christ University. Your next question, all of you, coming up on the screen now. It's a puzzle. Arrange the governmental position in order of minimum age criteria from youngest to oldest. Right? So youngest to oldest, uh, work this out. So all that you need to do is on your screens, you need to drag and drop according to the order. And please do not forget to click on the Kahoot submit button to submit your answer. Unless you click on that Kahoot button, your answers will not be registered. So work it out, right? So we have Indian Administrative Service Officer, we have a government governor of a state, member of the Rajya Sabha, member of the Lok Sabha. Right, we are looking for minimum age eligibility from youngest to oldest. Last nine, 18 seconds to go. Looks like only one team is still thinking through the order, um, but give, give it your best shot. Oh, looks like just one team has gotten this wrong. Indian Administrative Service Officer, I think it's about 21 years, member of Lok Sabha 25, member of Raj is about 30, and governor of state 35 years. This is what we were looking for. And uh, all of you getting that right, about 88% of you no, not making an error there. So with that question, GLC Mumbai is on fire with a good thousand, almost 1,100, 200 points lead over IIT Madras. NLU Lucknow, uh, uh, not far behind uh, IIT Madras and School of Law, uh, Christ University and Sri Venkateshwar College, all in striking distance of each other. This is uh, still a game that could... Uh, you know, could change any time because that's the nature of the Kahoot game. Let's start with the next puzzle question. Arrange these governor generals of India in chronological order in which they served as governor generals, right? So team talk is in play, 60 seconds to go, right? Look at the different governor generals. 
each of you will get an uh, you know an order you need to put it in chronological order of uh, from when they served right arrange these governor generals in chronological order Twenty eight. Okay, three, four answers have come in, right? So I, I think most of you know you need to submit the uh, Kahoot button on the screen to get the answer right. The reason why I'm repeating it is one of the teams in the previous editions missed uh, submitting it, and uh, I, I mean we don't want you guys to get into that trouble. Okay, looks like only six of you. And guys, looks like a lot of you have gotten this wrong, right? The order was uh, Cornwallis, Lord William Bentinck, uh, Henry uh, Hudding, and then we have uh, Lord Curson, and that was the order, chronological order that we were looking for. Uh, and uh, let's look at the scores at this stage. Oh, oh, with that question, ID Madras, with a slim margin of 20 points, has dislodged GLC Mumbai from their lead and uh, then followed by NLU Luck, uh, uh, RMNLU Lucknow, School of Law, uh, Christ University, and Sri Venkateshwara College. So, uh, yeah, so you can see the, the caliber of the teams in the finals uh, today in the knockout round, uh, neck to neck, should I say. So that's how the teams are playing out. The last two questions of the Kahoot round coming up. Here goes teams. You need to type in your answer. Which seven letter word that features in the Indian constitution connects the elements pictured, right? A friend sculpture, a classic work by Stuart Mill and this painting. Which seven letter word are we talking about? Seven of you cracking that, well done. I think this was almost a game of getting you to be, and that was Bertoldi and the famous uh, uh, painting of uh, Delroy, right? Um, uh, Liberty, uh, Liberty to Wall, or so on. So uh, that's the painting that we were referring to, and famous book uh, by Stuart Mill uh, that we had uh, referred to. Liberty leading the people was the painting, and uh, seven of you are cracking that. And with that, we have uh, uh, GLC Mumbai uh, with five thousand three hundred twenty-three points, followed by IIT Madras. School of Law, Christ University, NLU, J RMNLU, Lucknow, and Sri Venkateshwar College. Last question. All the best. Looks like JLC Mumbai, with that answer, has taken up the lead. The last question of the knockout round coming up on the screen now. What is the three letter acronym used to refer to this political party that recently? Split from the NDA. Three letter acronym. Current affairs. Quite in the news. And looks like all teams are taking to it very quickly. Seven answers have come in. And all of them have cracked the answer right. So very well done. <laughs> and obviously, if you've not gotten this answer, you would be a little sad. And this is Shiromani Akali Dal. Uh, and that's the answer we were looking for. Well done, all of you. And uh, keep it up. So with that, we've come to the leaderboard of the Kahoot round. In third, uh, in the Kahoot round was Sri Venkateshwara College with 5,052 points. IIT Madras with 5,404 points. 
and winning the Kahoot round with getting seven out of eight right with GLC Mumbai. Congratulations. And RMNLU Lucknow and NIT Jamshedpur in third, uh, fourth and fifth place. So well done, all of you. And uh, with that, I think we now you can all take a breather. I can see some celebration uh, in the in GLC camp. Uh, uh, they've done some good work today. So let's do one thing. Uh, just before we, I, 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 you know, share some audience questions. Can I have all of you switch on your videos and yeah, uh, smile to the camera uh, and give us a thumbs up or so, so that we can get you all on uh, uh, a photo. So guys. Uh, that's your moment. So all of this will come up on uh, different uh, publications, etc. So please ensure that you put on, yeah, go on. So if you can have a quick thumbs up from all of you, guys, thank you all for joining in. I hope you guys enjoyed the quiz. So let me, yeah, so thank you guys. So let me take a pic from all of you. Thank you. Super. So with that, uh, now it's time for like a glass of water or so. Uh, as we will uh, tabulate this course and uh, let's share the, uh, you know, let's actually run a couple of audience questions for the teams, right? So I have some audience questions. Uh, let me do that. Okay, so let me run this. Okay, for the audience members uh, tuning in and as we get our scores ready, here it comes. Oh, ho. oh, ho. why does it say answer follows? I hope the question is here. Oh, oh okay. So just give me a second. Um, yeah, I presuming that I have a question. Just a second. We do. Uh, just give me a second. Okay, so Let me share the screen. Right, this tradition began in the 17th century. It is believed that it is carried out to make room for an invisible flag of death flying above. Which tradition is being talked about? This tradition began in the 17th century just believe that it is carried out to make room for an invisible flag of death flying above. So which tradition are we talking about? <laughs> so Darshil uh, from NMIMS Law thought I would like ask the same question, uh, <laughs> but not quite Darshil. Uh, that's, this, the, this is not uh, you know, wigs of the judges. Uh, that story goes that uh, just directly to manage, uh, ensure that the identity of either the judges or the lawyers uh, were not known, uh, uh, you know, because let's say you were arguing a case and you go outside and, you know, uh, you don't know who will uh, attack you or so on. So just to keep the identity safe, uh, you know, they say that the, the whole tradition of wearing wigs came about, but that's not the answer we're looking for today. Uh, but let's wait for some of the responses uh, from um, the other teams uh, on uh, the YouTube channel. Uh, if the team can just kind of let me know. I have a GLC a Mumbai team, which has cracked the answer on chat though. Uh, let me, uh, in the meanwhile, I think, okay, Rajiv Ratnam uh, has answered it right. Uh, and Tarun Kumar and Rajiv Ratnam have gotten the answer right, right? So this is, um, and uh, let me uh, ask um, uh, GLC captain um, Aditya Bharadwaj to give out this answer, please. So this is the tradition of having the uh, flag fly at half mast. Absolutely. This is uh, the tradition of, um, you know, um, essentially, uh, you know, whenever there has been a death of a famous leader or um, so on, uh, you run the flag with half mast. Uh, I think a tradition that came in from the army and so on. So this is uh, the fl uh, flying of the flag half mast is the right answer. So good answering there from all of you. Uh, and I think I'll the last question here coming up on the screen on the audience question. I think we are. Um, we, we, we have about five minutes, so I'll use this opportunity. 
Ronald uh, Buchanan McCullin was a British historian who served as a fellow and later master of Pembroke College at the University of Oxford. He coined a term that derives itself from the Greek word for pebble, which term is this that refers to the study of something, right? So uh, a Greek word, uh, for pebble gave origin to a study of something, uh, which uh, was something that um, uh, Ronald ba uh, uh, Buchanan uh, Mechelen came up with. Uh, so uh, what is the term that we are referring to here? So some of you have uh, given me an answer. Oh, interesting. Okay, I think scores are ready. And uh, that's a sigh of relief for me. Um, and um, let me okay so i'm um, just looking for uh, teams on uh, the finalists you can also take a crack at this try to work this out for many years uh, there was this one person uh, famously uh, you know uh, who um, had a lot of people uh, in, in the country, there were only few who mastered this particularly, right? What term are we referring to? What study are we referring to? Okay, so uh, some of you have answered it. Um, right, so let me uh, use this opportunity. I'm just waiting for some of you from the YouTube channel to give up this answer. Uh, in the meanwhile, Okay, there is a lag, I believe, and uh, that is why it's taking some time. Okay, so let me, uh, so GLC um, has, uh, Schwab has said uh, pedagogy, which is a very good answer. Uh, and I think that has to do something with, uh, right, and Tarun Kumar has, and Yoginder, Tarun Kumar, and uh, he says, He's gotten it right. And uh, let me ask uh, one of you who's cracked this from the teams here. So NIT, um, uh, NIT Jamshedpur, Akash has given me an answer. Why don't you give out the answer, Akash? Yeah. The answer is cephalogy. Cephalogy or the study of elections is what we were looking for. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, do you... Uh, can you can you name a couple of people who are famously cephalogists from the country? The most famous, I think, is Yogendra Yadav. Uh, others I might not be able to find. Yeah, so of course Yogendra Yadav and um, and another one was also Pranay Roy, right? So uh, this is uh, uh, cephalogy is the or the study of political elections is what we are looking for. Tarun from YouTube has cracked that well, and with that we are ready with our scores. Uh, and let's see uh, how the Final scores stack up. Right, so, oh, I should say very close. Uh, I, I think this probably is one of the knockout rounds when the teams are missing out with, uh, I, yeah, so uh, coming in in uh, third place is IID Madras. Um, I, very well done, guys. Uh, I, I just missing out on a whisker. Uh, yeah, so very well done. I think they were leading uh, till about uh, you know uh, leading the top three or so. Uh, uh, they were about runners up again, right? So uh, well done. Uh, coming in in uh, runners up position is National Institute of Technology, Jamshedpur. Congratulations, and they storm into the uh, grand finale along with Government Law College Mumbai with some superb answers uh, in the Kahoot round. So uh, GLC Mumbai, a National Institute of uh, uh, National Institute of Technology Jamshedpur. So they had missed out qualification last year, and this year uh, they see their sevens, uh, themselves in the grand finale, and that's the nature of you know, uh, you know, uh, working hard and coming back next year uh, to the quiz. So very well done. Uh, and uh, all the rest who uh, came in, uh, you know, with RM and LU also very close by uh, in fourth place, RM and LU with 12,469 points. Then we have Sri Venkateshwara College, University of Delhi um, in fifth place, 
Uh, coming in in sixth place is NMIMS School of Law. Seventh uh, is uh, NLU Odisha. All uh, uh, striking distance. I, I think the Kahoot round did play a part. And uh, coming in eighth place is School of Law, Christ University. But I should say all of these teams are, in fact, the top 32 teams out of uh, many of uh, the ones who participated in the preliminary round. So they are amongst the best of the country. So wishing you guys the very best. Uh, and uh, uh, seeing uh, both these teams, National Institute of Technology, Jamshedpur, uh, in the next week, Grand Finale. And winners, Government Law College, Mumbai. Congratulations, uh, Government Law College, Mumbai. Very well done. In fact, they also said they missed out last year. And this year, uh, you know, they come with some strength of moving into the grand finale. So wishing you guys the best. And with that, uh, we would like to thank each and every one of you who made the quiz possible. Uh, firstly, the finalists, uh, uh, fantastic effort, guys. Um, uh, Okay, so GLC did not, is it? Okay, so I, I thought one of you, one of your team members had participated, uh, sure. So this is their first time. And uh, for sure, NIT Jamshedpur did mention that they had participated last time. And um, yeah, so uh, all of them who played a part from the CLPR team who's working in the background, uh, being a bedrock of support for the quiz, all our sponsors uh, from FNF Foundation to Mr. Arvindatar, Digital Partner, The Print, uh, uh, our proctors who were part, in, a part of the calls with all the team members, and from Team Walnut, uh, Vaishnavi, Abid, and Miragav, uh, wishing you uh, a good evening, a good weekend, and uh, see you, see the winners of all the knockout rounds in the grand finale next week, um, uh, and look forward to uh, quizzing them and seeing who the uh, the grand finale champions of Conquest 2020 would be. So thank you for that. And uh, I, uh, you know, hand over the mic to uh, the floor uh, 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 to Madhvi from the Center for Law and Policy Research uh, to offer the word of thanks. Thank you, Madhvi. Yeah. Thanks, Raghav. So everybody, just like Raghav said, I'm Madhvi from CLPR. So it's been a very exciting and competitive few weeks, beginning with the preliminary rounds. And now we are quickly approaching the end of Conquest 2020. And with the culmination of this knockout round, we've confirmed the eight teams who will be participating in the grand finale next week on 25th October. So first of all, a big congratulations to all the participants in these knockout rounds for being such enthusiastic and engaging participants throughout these few weeks. And a special congrats to the top two teams from GLC and NIT who will be moving on to the grand finale. So a quiz of this magnitude, particularly one which involves so much coordination, having been conducted online for the first time, would not have been possible without our partners. Supporting partner, Frederick Norman Foundation for Freedom, our prize money sponsor, Mr. Arvind Dattar, senior advocate at the Supreme Court of India, our knowledge partner, Walnut, of course, who did a fantastic job of organizing this quiz, our digital partner, The Print, our student community partner, the National Constitution Society, and a big shout out to Studio Design Brew, especially Aparna and Sagarika for designing our posters and all of the great visuals that you see for Conquest 2020. From CLPR, I want to thank Sudhir Krishnaswamy, our managing trustee, and Jaina Kutari, our executive director, for their guidance during this event. And especially the other folks at CLPR, like Kritik, Kritika and Vineet, who've put in a lot of hard work, as Raghav mentioned, behind the scenes to make this a reality. And some others I want to especially mention here, the amazing team Walnut Raghav himself, who conducted this quiz, and Vaishnavi and Abid, who've done the really hard work of scoring and writing these tricky questions. Thank you for making this so engaging as an online event for the teams and the audience. Special thanks to all of those who acted as proctors for today's event to ensure smooth and fair quizzing process for all teams. From CLPR, Alma, Sritambara, Mansi, Kaveri, and our intern Deepika. From Walnut, Ayush and Basit. And of course, I want to thank our audience members for watching and participating in this quiz. Your enthusiasm for quizzing and the constitution truly made this a special event, even in this online format. I look forward to welcoming everyone back to watch, uh, to watch the grand finale.